Welcome guys to another video of, you guessed, the Black Ops 2 and I'm bringing you some DLC gameplay of Vertigo. I'm playing Domination. I don't veer too much from Domination and Demolition and every once in a while I'll play Search and throw that up there for you guys. Alright, now I don't do the best in this game. This is probably one of the games to where it's more of a hard fought game and I really enjoyed it, so to speak. But there was two guy three guys on the other team and they all supposedly had YouTube channels. And they started talking some you know what because of my whole YouTube emblem to for people so that's why I like this game and that's why I decided to show it to you because I basically get like three orbital V sets in this game while some other guy gets like a warship VTOL yeah a VTOL warship warthog and um, lodestar so like basically we all do very very well against them and they were a clan or teamed up so to speak but that's not what I'm here about that's not what I'm gonna talk to you about today today I'm gonna talk to you about drive-in movie theaters yes drive-in movie theaters we've all seen them in movies and you know heard about them so to speak and um, this past weekend or not this weekend, but around Wednesday-ish time, me and my girlfriend got the pleasure of actually going to a drive-in movie theater and enjoying a drive-in movie theater. So, um, I want to talk about that, about the experience, because I'm pretty sure either the majority of you haven't gone if you're roughly the same age as me which is you know 20 or so because they pretty much died they pretty much have all died out and there's very 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 few remaining out there I think the statistic was there was roughly 30,000 or 40,000 drive-in movie theaters at one time and now there's like only 300 left in the US so it's kind of a um, you know it's kind of a shock that it's pretty much almost done with and there's very little left in that industry because you know big bigger um, Bigger movie theaters have taken over, like AMC and you know Tinseltown and not Tinseltown Cinemark and you know movie theaters like that have pretty much taken over the industry and have a foothold in the industry and they're the main ones people go to when it comes to these driving. Uh, not they're not driving, but they're more sit-down movie theaters and. Um, the main reason that a lot of those movie theaters like AMC and, Tin and Cinemark do very well is due to the fact that they, um, they have pretty much all profit compared to where a drive-in movie theater kind of, you know, you can kind of get away with quite a few things, you know, sneaking people, um, Sneaking people through the like I guess drive, like in the bed of the trunk, you know, even s sneaking up uh, food, drinks, you know, and that's what what mainly a movie theater needs to survive is sales off of concessions, and you know, they always state that you know they're having a hard time with um, you know, they don't make very much money off tickets 
which I kind of don't buy due to the fact that this movie theater or this drive-in movie theater that we went to it was showing two premiere or still relatively new movies so um, me and my girlfriend saw The Crudes which is an animated film about um, I guess cavemen um, during the continental shift and um, we also saw uh, Iron Man 3 in movie theaters so like they were very very new and relevant and the one thing I enjoyed is that we you know as soon as we paid we enjoyed the whole we enjoyed it all out of the comfort of our car and you know this drive-in movie theater had um the very old school you know have those little microphones attached to the outside of your windows and stuff or you could tune into an FM radio so like if you have a very nice radio system you know you're pretty much getting the same quality or even better quality that you'd get in a um, drive-in in a regular movie theaters just the you know the only drawback is you are um, out in the open and due to the elements if it starts raining if it starts thunderstorming you know you're gonna get the lightning show along with the movie so you know it's kind of a drawback it's kind of a something it's kind of a drawback that might affect the way you watch the movie so to speak and um one of the good things is also that even though you're watching the movie and that you're enjoying the movie um we saw those two movies for around twelve dollars so it was really really cheap for me to for us to go out and usually we spend around forty fifty dollars going to a regular you know amc movie theater or whatever and you know that's kind of expensive twenty five dollars a piece but you know we went to um we were at this movie theater and we spent a total about i'm gonna say twenty i'm gonna say twenty three dollars at most we spent around a total of twenty five dollars at this theater and um so i mean twenty five dollars compared to fifty we almost saved half of what we saw and we almost got twice as much of what we usually would have saw so i don't know it's just weird how much movie theaters rip people off so to speak you know there are benefits like i said it's cheaper and to me it seemed we got more bang for our buck but um you know one of the drawbacks is that you you're not sitting down and watching it in a movie theater and you know you're not really i guess enjoying the full-on effect that most movie theaters would have you know i kind of they were showing 3d at the theater it's just i don't really think it would have been i don't really want to try 3d yet at the movie theater but then again you know 3d is also a way to take more money i think the only movie that was worth watching in 3d was avatar and even then it was an all right movie it wasn't the best but then again it wasn't really the worst movie out there so We're winning this you know it's i think it just depends and it just depends on what you what you enjoy and what you want out of a movie i mean you could to me i really enjoyed the movie the drive-in movie theater because it was a totally different experience something that i'm not used to and something that i wasn't i didn't really know until recently and it was very fun so if you guys do have a drive-in movie theater near you i do recommend 
going to it, I do recommend you going out and enjoying what they have to offer because, you know, I think you will enjoy what the movie theater has to offer you. But um, that's just my personal opinion. You guys don't have to, you know, just take it at face value. All right, guys. Um, since we're at the end of the video, uh, please like, subscribe if you haven't already. And please um, thumbs up. It helps my videos get noticed and helps them, I guess, get more people attracted to them. And please try sharing with I guess Facebook friends, you know, if people, you know, watch Call of Duty videos, tell them about me, please. Uh, it really helps me out and really helps my channel out. And thanks. Till next time, guys. Peace.